Welcome, folks, to tonight's game. This one promises to be a good one between the Mississippi State Bulldogs and the Alabama Crimson Tide. The Crimson Tide face a whale of an opponent tonight, Dick. How do they pull this one out? The keys to the game are simple, Brad. First, it's up to the point guard to be the leader to control the entire tempo of the game. Second of all, don't allow any good looks from beyond the arc. Challenge every shot. Thirdly, get your man on your hip after the shot. Lock out and get after those boards. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. We get another look. Pack it inside. Good fake. Executes the baby hook. Off the rim and no good. Both teams looking to get things going here. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. He was looking for the call and he got it on himself. Offensive foul. Definitely an offensive foul, no doubt about it. He beats him to the spot. He keeps the dribble as they reset. He attempts the trifecta. He gets the bucket to fall. Working around the perimeter. He launches a three. He drains the bucket. move not successful Dick I did a great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn shows patience waiting for the reset the student section is all rallied up and they are ready to battle the student section looks like they're having a great time the Bulldogs have got to continue to get him the ball they need to keep feeding him the ball it's simple stolen what a great strip Great elevator man, man. That's the elevator guy. What a high riser. Double team now, bad angle. Swanson was a top recruit coming out of high school. Personally, I can't wait to see how he's going to develop. I'm happy that he's played out his eligibility rather than jumping to the pros. That's what you want from your top star recruits. Nice shot. Inside. Entry pass in the paint for two. I tell you, does a great job getting close position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block him of the ball. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting. Pope. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. There's the pick. Here's a flash from the post up high. Too much. That's a foul. I don't even know if you and I can find a seat in this place, Dick. I'll tell you one thing. You get the home court advantage when you got a crowd like this. By the way, you and I have the best seat in the house. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. Got it from the free throw line. into a vicious screen. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. He 
He'll regroup the offense. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. Great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Inside, the power forward with the ball. He's got a nice shot fake. The frustration right there. Looking for a good shot. Trying to draw the foul. The lay -in. The point guard gets the pass. Beasley is emotionally pumped up. I love seeing this play with emotion and passion. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. On the dribble, gives it up. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. Takes the pass in the paint. They work it back to the outside. Now the high screen. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. With Dick Vitale. I'm Brad Nestle. Nice to have you along with us. The center takes the pass. Turns it over. Up and inside. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post that participates and knows how to find the open man. Taken away. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense. Poor job defensively. You don't get back, don't stop the ball. And they were allowed to convert, get the number game going. The ball goes out of bounds. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. On the outside. With anticipation defensively. The power forward takes the feed. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Things I absolutely love about college basketball, Dick, the atmosphere. Hey, pandemonium is in full effect. And one too many dribbles and a steal. Gliding in for the jam. Sliding and gliding. Nobody rotated over. The defense moves so slowly. West steps to the line for the first time. Sinks it. The shooting guard gets the ball. Goes up for two. Up and in. On the inside. I think right now they're going to focus defensively. Here they are on the break. Kicks off the lazy pass. Gave it up. It'll take some pride on the defensive end. He hits it. Cue the rewind button, boys. Post screen goes to the lane. Jumps into the defender. On the dribble, gives it up for the bucket. 
Great play to take that to the basket. Rivers in the paint. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Gave it up. Wide open for the shot. Here's a double team. He pump fakes from the baseline. You betcha. Look at that spacing. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Steals a pass. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up, and they're ready to try to help their team. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. There he is, strips the ball loose. And here they come the other way in transition. Great play to take that to the basket. Spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Here's the trap. Oh, what a strip, Red. Two, perfectly executed. It looks as though they have a shooter spotting up. He looks for three. Got it. They work the perimeter. He shoots from long range. He hits the shot. down on the low block and there's a steal a uh, terrific job anticipating reading the offense and making that steal he's open if he wants the shot great pressure great double team really explosive Turnaround jumper and off the mark. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Goes up for two. It sticks. On the dribble, gives it up. Picked off. Defensively, low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. Uh, terrific job creating the opportunity, and it really converts an offensive transition. They've left him completely alone. Three. Tickles a twine. Time to pick up the defense here now. Puts it up, looking for contact. Up and in. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. First half update again, Dick Vitale, in your opinion, our focus player, what do you think he's doing so far? Well, if the team's going to survive, they're going to survive because he has to get going. He's their catalyst, and he's really not playing up to his point.
excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards up there. Yeah, that helps. Way off target. Here's a nice face up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. I don't even know if you and I can find a seat in this place, Nick. I'll tell you one thing, you get the home court advantage when you got a crowd like this. By the way, you and I have the best seat in the house. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting a good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. They get out on the break. Alabama are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together. Hey, they're really starting to cook on offense. Working it around the perimeter. He does the sweet fake shot. This is college basketball at its best, Dick. The Rutgers fans are going nuts. They're going bananas, Brad. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Hinton makes a basket and the harm for the senior. He's got a big time harm, baby. With the free one. He gets it to go. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Got a wide open look. He intercepts it. Ball, but the offense got it back. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. The post flashes up high if he wants it. For the bucket, he keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. Gave it up. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Brad, I'm afraid to hear this crowd. If they can get a stop at this possession. He looks for the bomb. Off the rim and no good. They're working around the perimeter. Entry pass in the paint. He ran his man into the screen and dropped in a beautiful bucket. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Dump it inside. Got an open look if he wants it. On the outside, picked out of the air. They'll work it around the arc. Looking for a good shot. Got the shot if he wants it. From way outside. Let's get another look, Brad. Let's 
Watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays it where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. The good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. On the outside, on the dribble, gives it up. And now they'll bring it up. Takes it off him. They're off into transition. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. It goes in. on that one. Take a look right here. He explodes to the basket. Look at him now, just enjoying the moment. Hey, he's out of control, Brett. He wants everyone to get up and enjoy the moment, including the cheerleaders. Number 45 steps in for the first time tonight. This may or may not have been the right substitution at this point, Brad. for a good shot. He shoots from the top of the key. Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. There they come with a double team to stop it. Alabama is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Fake. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. And a momentary look from three-point land. Picks off the pass. Look at that student body. They are going mad. Isn't it great, Brad? Tries for two. In and out. Jumps in. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Brad. to three. That's good. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented boards up there. Yeah, that helps. Sinks it. going to see this guy in his sleep tonight, Dick. He's already living a nightmare, Brad. Two for one opportunity. Gave it up. High post screen, going to use it. That's an ill-advised shot. That shot was definitely ill-advised. Dump it inside. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Shot clock is dead. He takes the three. The Bulldogs have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire. Gives it up. Shoots it. Way off target. He had to hurry that one. He misses the trifecta. At halftime, the Crimson Tide lead by six. Let's take a look back and watch the play of the half. Alabama 
is having a great night shooting the ball so far, but you got to wonder, can they keep it up in the second half? Well, it all depends on whether they get too confident or not. Sometimes when players shoot well, they forget why. Most of the time, it's because they're shooting high percentage shots. If you don't take bad shots, you're going to have a high percentage. Start of the second half, Dick, our focus player update. What's he got to get done in the second half for them to win? I would run them off screens on the right and left. I would set up screens and have them pop out to shoot that trifecta. On the outside, he bombs from outside. Makes it. Tries to spin away from the defender. I tell you, he's versatile in the post. He's got the spin move and a number of other activities. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far? Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponents. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. And he throws it right away. Great steal. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. And the ball goes out of play. Count that as a personal foul. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. post player flashing with a deep shot from outside off the rim and no good there's the pick there's the roll they work it around the perimeter Dickie really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle and they also have the good entry from the wing. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. And it's stolen away. Gave it up. Attempts the three. Awesome job of running his guy into the screen to get off that J. College basketball is special to me for that reason right there, Dick. You're right. The student sections, the bands, and the crowd are always urging their team to victory like a sixth man. Comes back out from the post. Out there, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He puts it in with contact and all. Beasley wants even more support from the fans, Dick. He's asking for a bit more in the next possession. Leans in. Up. Easy one. To get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Number 35 with the fake. Gets it back out. There's a double team waiting there. Another turnover. And we're not talking apple turnovers either. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're finding each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. Oh. 
The defender is still applying great blow pressure, Brad. Looking for the foul. Basket falls despite the contact. Let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stressed during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. Nick, look at the number of points off turnovers. I'll tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He tries to knock down the three. Man, he lured the defender to the screen, giving him time to shoot the sweet J. On the dribble, gives it up. Jumped in front to take it away. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Foul plus the bucket. Big time play on that one, Dick. You said it, Brad. And now he's got a little something for the crowd. They're not going to like this. They're going to be offended. You've got that right, Brad. I like it when the team gets to the free throw line. It shows that they're being aggressive. The key is to get to the line early in the game and off it. like to get it inside to the low block unable to so far nice job of packing it in defensively yeah, really doing a great job packing it in and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass they'll work it around the arc he shoots from left of the circle he drains it the perimeter. Spacing so important at 15 to 17 feet apart. He unloads a three. Makes the shot. The Bulldogs are ahead by eight. He puts up the three ball. He drains the shot. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. In the paint. Here's a double team with the fake from the top of the key. Nice shot. They work the perimeter for two, and he scores it off the glass. The Bulldogs are up by seven. Up and inside. Fakes it. The ball goes out of play. As we take a look here at our backcourt production. Hey, Brad, I'll tell you one thing. Productivity from the backcourt is a must. You must initiate the offense, distribute the ball, and score. These are all things that you rely on your backcourt to do. He launches the bomb way off target. You betcha. That one's definitely worth a second look, Brad.
for a good shot. He shoots from right of the circle. The Bulldogs have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Now they work it around the perimeter. Combs pounded on his way up. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Guys, both the players and coaches seem really confused right now around the benches. Again, the focus seems to be getting their number one guy going. They haven't been able to do anything without him tonight. We're going to have to keep an eye on him. Thanks, Aaron. Nick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. Looking for a good shot. Defense giving some room. He fires from long range. against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. This guy, Hook, you cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use it? Picked out of the air. Kicks it out. High post flashes for the ball handler. The ball goes out of bounds. to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. On the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. He comes away with it. The students are all fired up and ready to do whatever's necessary to help their team win. Oh, yes, the student body, always full of comedy and excitement. Morgan goes to the line for the first time. Gets the first. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. Both shots good. No problems so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. Coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. And the ball goes out of play. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job of post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. He throws it up from downtown, way off to... Ooh, look at the shot block. He got some contact. Nice hops. The Bulldogs have got to continue to get him the ball. Yeah, he's on fire. Shoots from outside. Tickles a twine. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. The ball goes out of play.
Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position of spreading his body and getting the ball. Steals the pass. Defensively, they keep limiting their chances. They're working around the perimeter. Top of the circle, they're working around the perimeter. Here's a nice face-up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face-up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. These boys are slinging threes left and right, left, right, down the center, every place. Hey, they're going in from everywhere, baby. They work the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the circle. The Bulldogs have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. the perimeter the ball goes out of bounds boy it's such a turnover are big and that's a big turnover I'm telling you they're turning the ball over too often you can't win when you do that number 23 subs back in hey that little breather may just have been what the doctor ordered is that how they say it that saying Brad on the inside there's the trap Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. The Crimson Tide trail by five. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Nice fake. With the jump hook. That's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. In the paint. Look at the student section, Dick, cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. They look like they're having a blast. Swanson handles the feed. Moving it around the perimeter. Tries to draw the charge, and even he has to smile about this one. I tell you, you kidding me? That's one of the great acting jobs of all time. Get him an Oscar. The partner of this one could go right down to the wire. Offensively, this is when it's extremely important to have the right people shooting the basketball at the right times. Obvious foul. That one puts the personal in person. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. I tell you, what an opportunity he's got right here. Because to me, this is a gift. Hits the second shot. Take that to the basket. Looking for a good shot. The shooting guard handles the pass. Great effort defensively. He says, thou shalt not enter thy lane, baby. Get it out of here. I'm the landlord. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He shoots from the top of the circle. Nice job of using the screen to get open for that good shot. Adam 
Momentary look from three-point land. Makes the block. Pushing up basketball. He makes the shot. Spin moves not going to work against this defense. That's a no no, baby. A defensive player beats him to the spot. Defense is right up on him, not giving any open looks. And the ball goes out of bounds. Dribble gives it up. That's good. Listen to the crowd. You can cut the intensity with a knife. I'll tell you, Brad, those schools with the best home records probably have incredible school pride. They don't call it the six man for no reason. The Bulldogs have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. Brad, he's on fire. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. Takes the pass in the paint. The fake. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Look at that drive. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Put a Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> They work it around the perimeter. Tries the three. Makes it. He goes with a baby hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Yeah, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. With a bucket, perfectly executed. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Dick, six-point lead here. They have to keep applying the pressure if they want to win this one, Brad. On the inside. Double team now, bad angle. He puts up the tray. He shows the sweet touch. Looking for a good shot. The ball goes out of play. And we get a look here at our foul and timeout situation. Hey, Brad, many games are lost because coaches fail to manage the clock. Possession here, timeout situation. Let's see how these coaches fare tonight. Picks off the lazy pass. It's a fast break possibility for two. The lay in. Timeout. Let's check in with Aaron, who's standing by. Well, Brad, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their players down. I'm sure they're anxious, and they may be a little frazzled. Let's see how it all works out, guys. Thanks, Aaron. Let's get ready to resume the action. A five-point lead could go either way with this much time, Brad. Oh, it certainly can, Dick. Gave it up. He pulls the trigger. Good. The student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. 
It's a four-point game. This one could go either way. Don't give up your seat. Pass down the guy in the post to go the other way. And they come with a double team to stop it. He shoots from downtown. The center receives the ball. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Is that what you call a next level play? Well, it's definitely a big time play in this game right now. It's always interesting to see who's still hot and who's not after a timeout. You gotta think the shooters might be the most effective, Brad. They're working around the perimeter. Follow them early and give your team a chance. Well, Dick, it looks like they're gonna spend a little bit of time fouling right here. They have to foul in order to stop the clock, Brad. Emphasize him enough, Brad. It's important to get to the charity strike. Hits that one. No doubt. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. up again. Too physical. Nick, we're going to look here at the front court players and how they're performing. Who can dominate the paint is the question, Mr. Nessler. Sometimes the bigs get lost with all of the guard play, but to win consistently, you need to have a balanced attack inside and outside. There's a double team waiting there. Well, Mr. Vitale, there's the foul situation so far. Hey, Brad, staying out of foul trouble and a stretch of any game is vital. You want to keep your opponents off the free throw line and out of bonus situations. Makes the second shot. This is where you really need a bucket to have a chance. changes dick you never know what's coming brad he tries the three ball rims out tries for two they still don't score alabama will not walk away with a win tonight as they lose this close one you know they really showed what they were made of and can come away from this game with a moral victory it's been a fun game and as always my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us for dick vitale and aaron andrews i'm brad nessler good night everybody